Hi, it's Terry. This is another Express Flow yoga class in my series, and they're all designed to be anywhere between 30 and 40 minutes. So uh, it's just have some fun, follow your breath, follow your movement, ramp up your practice whenever you'd like to into handstands or arm balances, tone it down into child's pose whenever you'd like, skip your vinyasas if you'd like. But let's all start together in a comfortable seated position. Your legs can be crossed in Sukhasana. You can be sitting on your heels with your hands on your knees. Please close your eyes. And settle into the comfort of your own breath on your own mat. I've been teaching a lot of power flow classes lately. And I basically call them strength classes, where you are tapping into your own personal strength for your own practice. And listen to these words. Appreciate that you are strong enough to endure the most difficult of times. Be grateful that you have the strength to endure the most mundane of tasks. Embrace the knowledge that you absolutely deserve all the good things in your life. Always remember that you are absolutely worthy of the friendship, love, and support of the people around you. Tap into your inner strength, you have it. Rely on that knowledge to get you through difficult times and even the most mundane of tasks. Gradually, everybody find your way into your first downward facing dog of your practice. Hands are firmly to the floor. Send your hip bones high. Breathing in and out through your nose. And wiggle out your hips, bend one knee and then the other. Feel the firm pressure on all of your knuckles and fingers, particularly your thumb and your index finger. Let your head hang heavily, neck grows longer. Soften into the tops of the shoulders. Find a sense of stillness and comfort in this pose. You have the strength and capability just to bring yourself into this shape. That's all you need to know. Press down, lift hip bones higher, send your thigh bones back as you lift your kneecaps up. On your next inhale, lift your heels high. As you exhale, spin your heels over towards the left. Make sure you have weight on your right hand. Press down, lift hips up at a diagonal. Inhale back to center. Exhale, spin your heels over to the right. Push the floor away. Send the left hip bone higher. Inhale back to center. Settle your heels closer to the floor. On your next inhalation, into a high plank position, shoulders over wrists. On the exhalation, push your way back to your downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Breath in into a high plank position. Exhale, hips are high, downward facing dog. Inhale into a high plank position. Lowering yourself all the way onto the mat. You can feel, you can lower your knees if you'd like on the count of three. Pull the heels back, support the lower back with the belly all the way down. Everything touches at the same time. Bring your hands a little bit farther back, elbows stay bent, baby cobra bhujangasana. Press the pelvis into the floor, and draw the navel into the spine, shoulder heads relax, shoulder blades together, lift your kneecaps off the floor, feel the engagement in the legs. Take another breath in, exhale, lower down. Press your way back either through tabletop child's pose or into your high plank position. Exhale, send your hips high, down dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Take a breath in and a breath out. On your next inhale, raise your right leg behind you, three limb dog. Bend your right knee, yawn it open. Pull your left hip back, open your hip up even more. Press into your right hand, get longer in the right side waist, open up even more. Extend your right leg, square off your hips. As you exhale, step your right foot to the top of the mat for a low runner's lunge. Draw your arms in front of you, reaching long. Pull your right hip back, lengthen your left leg. Continue to lengthen the torso to the front of the room, left leg long. Another breath in. Exhale, lower your hands to the floor. Step to the top of the mat, forward fold, chest to thighs. Inhale, lengthen, chest forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Pull the shoulders back. Exhale, bow it down, forward fold, chest to thighs. Inhale, rise all the way up, bring your arms by your ears, reach high, Utita Hastasana. Exhale, hands to the center of your chest, Mastitahi, equal standing. Breath in, big sweep up, bring your arms by your ears, reach high. 
As you exhale, hinge all the way down for your forward fold, Uttanasana. Breath in, lengthen, Ardha Uttanasana, hands can slide up your knees or your shins. As you exhale, step your left foot to the back of the mat, low runner's lunge. Play your hands to the floor, step to a, down, a high plank position. As you exhale, lower down through Chaturanga Dandasana, low plank, elbow slide against the side body or all the way to the floor. Inhale to your baby cobra or perhaps straighten your arms to your up dog, shoulders pull back, lift your legs off the floor. Exhale, hips are high, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Take a breath in and let it go. On your next inhale, raise your left leg behind you, three limb dog. Bend your left knee, yawn it open. Keep pulling your right hip back. Open up even more. This firm weight on your left hand, get longer than the left side waist as well as the right. Open up even more, find that great space. Square up for your hips, extend your leg. Step your left foot to the top of the mat for low runner's lunge. Breathing here for a few breaths. Arms reach by your ears, reaching to the front of the room. Pull your left hip back. Roll your right hip forward. Keep your, left, your right leg long. Stay here for another breath. Step to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen chest forward. Exhale, bow down, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up from your arms by your ears, reach high. Exhale, hands to the center of your chest. Breath in, big sweep up, Utita Hastasana, legs are long. As you exhale, hinge all the way down, follow the breath, follow the chest, head and neck relax. Breath in, lengthen chest forward. Exhale, step your right foot to the back of the mat for your low runner's lunge. Firm weight to your left foot, hands to the floor. Keep your hips level as you step to your high plank position. Lower down through low plank, Chaturanga, pull the chest forward as you bend your elbows. Inhale, pull forward and up, up dog, push the floor away, send your chest forward and up. Exhale, hips are high, downward facing dog. Take a breath in and let it go. One more round of breath in and a breath out. And inhale, heels high, exhale, bend your knees, step or float lightly to the top of your mat. Take a breath in, lengthen chest, pulls forward. Breath out, bow it down, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, arms reach overhead. Stand taller, get longer. Exhale, hands to the center of your chest. Samastiti he equals standing. Sur Namaskar C. Inhale, bring your arms by your ears, reach high. As you exhale, hinge all the way down, forward fold. Take a breath in to lengthen, chest forward. Exhale, step your right foot to the back of the mat, low runner's lunge. Hands to the floor, step back to down dog, Adamuka. Inhale, high plank, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, low plank. Inhale, pull the chest forward and up, up dog, Adva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, hips are high, down dog, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Raise your right leg as you breathe in, hips are level. Exhale, step your right foot to the top of the mat, lower in his lunge. Take a breath in. Exhale, step to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen chest forward. Breath out, bow it down, forward fold. Rise as you breathe in, bring the arms overhead, reach high. Fold right back down, forward fold, Uttanasana. Take an inhale to lengthen. Exhale, step your left foot to the back of the mat, low runner's lunge. Take a breath in. Hands to the floor, downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, Adho Mukha. Exhale, down dog, Adho Mukha. Breath in, raise your left leg behind you. As you exhale, step your left foot to the top of the mat. Take a breath in, firm weight in your left foot. Step to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen chest forward. Breath out, bow it down, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up in your arms, by your ears, reach high. Hands to the center of your chest, samastitihi equal standing. Surya Namaskar A, inhale, big sweep up, bring your arms overhead. So you exhale, hinge all the way down for forward fold. Breathe in to lengthen, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, hands to the floor, step and throat, float your way through your Chaturanga Dandasana, bent arms. Inhale is an up dog, Adva Mukha. Exhale, downward facing dog. Staying here, coming through another variation of Vinyasa. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower down through Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, Adva. Exhale, Chaturanga, bend your elbows, come halfway down. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Take a breath in and let it go. Inhale, heels high. Exhale, bend your knees. Step or jump to the top of your mat. Take a breath in to lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. 
Inhale all the way up, strong legs. Reach the arms brightly up. Exhale, hands to the center of your chest. Samastiti equals standing. One more round of sun salute A. Inhale, big sweep up. Follow your breath. As you exhale, empty it all out, fold in half. Inhale to lengthen, rock your way forward. Exhale, hands to the floor, take it through your vinyasa, high plank through to low plank. Breath in is your upward facing dog, open the chest, it's a back bend. Exhale, hips are high, downward facing dog, Anamuka. Option for second vinyasa, inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower down through Chaturanga. Inhale, an upward facing dog, out of the Mukha. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, elbows bend. High plank. Exhale, down dog, push the hips high and back, draw your quads towards your hamstrings. Take a breath in and let it go. Two more cycles of breath on your own. Let your head hang heavily. Feel softness at the base of the neck. Broaden into your collarbones. Send your chest to your thighs. On your next inhalation, raise your right leg behind you, three limb dog. Bend your right knee, yawn it open. As you exhale, tap your right arm with your right knee. Glide the leg long back behind you on the breath in. Exhale, tap your left arm with your right knee. Inhale, glide it back. Exhale, tap your right arm with your right knee. Stay here or hover into your Kundinyasana B. Bending the elbows at Chaturanga arms, pulling the chest forward, belly's engaged. Perhaps your left toes lift off the floor. Return to your three-legged dog, sending your right leg back behind you. As you exhale, step your right foot to the top of the mat. High crescent lunge, a little bit of a bend into your back knee. Hips are square to the top of the room. Pelvis is neutral. Front of the pelvis pulls up. Lift the ribs away from the back waist. Stay here for breath in. As you exhale, twist to your right and your arms outstretched. Inhale, straighten your front leg, pyramid. Exhale, bend back into your right knee and twist. Inhale, back up. Exhale, bend the right knee and twist. Leave the left heel nice and high. Inhale, back to your pyramid. Exhale, find your high lunge twist. Keep the bend in your right knee, bring your arms back overhead. Exhale, hands to the floor, step from high plank to low plank. Inhale, pull forward and up, up dog. Exhale, hips are high, downward facing dog. Next breath in, raise your left leg. Bend your left knee, yawn it open. Tap your left arm with your left knee, bring your shoulders directly over your wrists. Inhale, leg long back behind you. Exhale, tap your right elbow with your left knee. Good, inhale, extend the leg back behind you. Bring your left knee back to your left elbow. Bend your elbows at chaturanga arms. Pull the chest forward, push the floor away with your hands. Send your chest forward, perhaps your back toes lift off the floor. Settle your foot to the floor, draw your left leg long back behind you, down dog split. Step your left foot to the top of the mat, low, uh, high crescent lunge. Bring a little bit of a bend into your back knee. Squaring everything off to the top of the room, press into your left heel, left hip hugs back, right heel stays high. Lower body stays exactly where it is. Lift the ribs up as you breathe in. Exhale, twist towards your left. Breathe in, straighten your left legs. Pull your left hip back, right hip pulls forward. Breath out, find your twist, bend into your left knee and twist. Inhale, back up, straighten your left leg. Exhale, bend back into your left knee and twist. One more round, inhale, straighten, scissor the inner thighs. Exhale, bend into your left knee and twist. Keep the bend in your left knee. Left arm reaches overhead, come back to center. Exhale, hands to the floor and take it through your vinyasa. High plank to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Always that optional funky vinyasa. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower down through chaturanga, low plank. Inhale, up dog, Advo Mukha Svanasana. Return to your chaturanga, bend your elbows, low plank. High plank on the breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog, Advo Mukha Svanasana. Take a breath in and let it go. One more round of breath in and a breath out. On your next inhalation, raise your right leg behind you, three limb dog. Step your right foot to the top of the mat for a low runner's lunge. Firm way into your right foot. Hug your right hip back, left hip pulls forward. Find the support in the hips. Squeeze the inner, outer hips together, inner thighs squeeze together. Left leg stays long, arms by your ears reach forward. 
Take a breath in, reach forward even more, lengthen your left leg as you exhale, we are airplane your arms back behind you. Inhale, draw the arms by your ears, reach forward. Exhale, swim them back. Inhale, draw them forward. Press all your weight onto your right foot. Warrior three, start to straighten your right leg. Left hip rolls down, left leg long. Handstanders can always lower your hands to the floor and kick your left leg up. In your warrior three, hips are staying nice and level. Find the firm support in your right leg. Left leg long back behind you. Don't collapse into the chest. Eventually, everybody return to a standing position on your right leg. Bring your left knee into your chest. Stand up tall, straighten your left leg. Step on your left foot, figure four. Ekapada Ardha Cross your right ankle on top of your left thigh if you find your balance. Palms press together to the center of your chest. Sink the hips nice and low. Try your right knee down. Flex into your ankle. If your left hip spins out to the left, pull it right back in. Staying here. If you have your arm balance variation, Galavasana. Continue to sink the hips low, bending more deeply into your left knee. Hook your right foot around your left, your left, your right arm, your left arm rather. And bring your weight. Cheddar on the arms. Pull your chest forward. Lift your toes off the floor. In your classic variation, find your breath, pulling your chest forward even more. Gradually, everybody start to bring your way up. Arms reach overhead, right knee lifts. Half moon rising, artist and draw, so draw your right leg around. Left arm reaches down, right arm reaches overhead. Keep drawing your left chest forward. Roll the ribs around the spine. Back leg is long and firm. Perhaps you can lift your right leg up a bit more. Breathing here for another breath. Bend into your left standing leg, warrior two. Straighten your front leg, pivot your feet, warrior two facing the back of the room with the right leg bent. You need to lengthen your stance. Hips are square and level to the floor. Arms are reaching brightly up. Soften your shoulders. Straighten your front leg. Triangle pose, reach and lengthen to the back wall. Scissor the inner thighs, keep reaching and lengthening. Right hand comes down, left arm reaches overhead. Draw the right ribs to the back wall, spin them towards me, lean the left chest back even more. Find that rotation, that wrapping of your ribs. Reach up. Bring your right arm by your ear. Perhaps bring your left arm by your ear. But continue to roll the left chest up to the ceiling. Another breath in this shape. Return to your triangle pose. Press down, lift up, bend into your right knee, reverse your warrior, reach up and back. Exhale, cartwheel your hands. Vashi stas in the side plank, roll over to the outside of your left foot. Right foot on top of left, right arm reaches overhead. Press into your left hand, get a lot more support by lifting up out of your left shoulder. Right arm is reaching dynamically up to the ceiling, as are the hips. Another breath. Spin back to center, come through your vinyasa, high plank to low plank. Inhale, open up the chest in your up dog. Exhale, send your hips high and back, downward facing dog. Option for another vinyasa, inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower down through chaturanga. Inhale, pull forward and up, up dog. Exhale, hip bones high, downward facing dog. Take a breath in and let it go. On your next inhalation, raise your left leg behind you, three limb dog. Step your left foot to the top of the mat. Windmill into a warrior two. Straighten your front leg. Reverse your warrior. I mean, straighten your front leg, pivot your feet, then into your front knee. Continue to scissor the inner thighs. Right knee is bent, left leg is long. Reverse your warrior, reach up and back. Exhale, extended side angle form is on your thigh, bring your left arm forward. Keep reaching and lengthening. Pull your right hip underneath the left. Wrap the ribs around the spine. Any option, variation, left hand can be behind you for a half bind, right arm underneath for a full bind. Bird of paradise, pressing weight onto your left foot. Right leg lifts up. Open up your chest. Straighten your leg if you're in your balance. Everybody knee in an extended side angle pause with Kanasana. Straighten your front leg, reverse your triangle, reach up and back. Exhale, extended side angle. 
Inhale, straighten, reach up and back. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, all the way up, parallel your feet. Hands to your hips, come all the way down for wide-legged forward fold. Draw your right hand in front of you, thread your left arm underneath, grab your right leg, twist towards the front of the room, bend your left elbow, and look underneath your right shoulder. Press into your left foot to pull your left hip back. Find a little bit more length in the left chest towards my voice. Staying here, bring your right arm overhead, stack shoulder blade on top of shoulder blade. Pull your left hip back so it lines up with your right. One more breath in, lengthen. One more breath out to twist. Slowly unwind yourselves, hands underneath your shoulders, lengthen another breath in. Exhale, bend into your right knee, spin around to face the front of the room. Lower your left knee to the floor. Left hand underneath left shoulder, bend your right knee, reach for your foot for a quad twist stretch. In this shape, you're pressing into your left hand to pull your left hip back, you get more length. Draw your left hip down and forward. Press into your left hand and look over your right shoulder. Breathing here for a couple more breaths. Gradually releasing your foot. Come back to center, sing lips nice and low. As you exhale, straighten your front leg, toes towards your shin. Pull your right hip back, lengthen the chest, left hand outside of your right leg. Either staying here in this twist, right hand to right hip, pull your right hip back, lengthen the chest forward, find a spin, right arm reaches overhead. Lengthen again, the left ribs forward, spin them to me, Lean the right chest back. Another breath. Find your way back to center. Bend back into your right knee. Glide your way forward. Tuck your back toes. Lift your back knee off the floor. Wild thing rock star. Roll over onto the outside of your left foot. Swing your right foot behind you. Press down and lift the hips up. Stay here for another breath. Open up even more. Lower your right hand to the floor. Fall in triangle opposite side. Draw your right leg underneath you. Shoot it out towards your left. Left arm reaches overhead. Press down and lift up. Another breath. Lower your left hand to the floor, three-legged dog. I'm talking to plank, rather. Exhale, lower down through three-legged chaturanga. Inhale, pull forward and up, up dog. Exhale, hips are high, down dog. Take a breath in, lift your heels high, hips high. Open mouth, breath out. Settle the heels to the floor, let the air out. Two more cycles like this, a cooling round of breath in. Heels high, hips high. Open mouth, breath out, let it go. Good, and one more breath in, lift the heels high, hips high. Of mouth breath out, let it go. Lightly seal your lips together, come back into your ujjayi breath. Find a little bit more emphasis of the hands to the floor to pull the hips higher, and so your heels even lower to the floor. On your next breath in, raise your left leg behind you, three limb dog. As you exhale, open up your hip, bend your knee. Step your left foot to the top of the mat for a low runner's lunge. Press firm weight into your left foot, hug your left hip back. Arms reach dynamically in front of you. Chover the chest over the thigh. Take a breath in, exhale, swim your arms back behind you. Inhale, arms pull forward. Make sure they're still by your ears, not lower down. Exhale, swim the arms back. Hug your left hip back, right leg is firm like a plank. Inhale, bring your arms forward. Exhale, swim them back. Next time you breathe in and bring the arms forward, bring your weight onto your left foot. Come into a three leg, uh, warrior three. Hip, right hip is rolling down. Right leg is long back behind you. Arms reach dynamically in front of you. Left leg is even longer and firmer, but right leg is firmly engaged. Staying here or handstand kick-ups. Bring your hands to the floor, then into your left knee and find your way through your handstand. Eventually you'll all return to the standing position. Bring your right knee to your chest. Straighten your right leg in front of you. Lift it up a bit higher. Step on your right foot. Figure four, Ekapada Ardha Utkatasana. Notice one side might be more different than the other. And then find your shape. A nice sharp triangle between your thighs. Palms pressed together, but draw the chest towards the heels of your hands. Either staying here or bending your knee. Eventually, forearms come to your shins, or perhaps the fingertips come to the floor. Come high on the ball of your back of your standing foot. Bring the hands in front of you and find your arm balance. Push the floor away. Keep pulling your left toes around your right forearm. 
Eventually everybody come back up. Draw your left leg around you. Triangle. Main half and rising rather Ardhachandrasana. Press right into your right foot. Draw your left leg long back behind you. Take another breath. Bend, bend, bend into your right standing leg. Come all the way into your warrior two, your Hipadrasana two. Straighten your front leg, pivot your feet. Warrior two, face in the front of your room. Straighten your front leg, pull weight into your left big toe mound, pull your left hip back. Reach and lengthen. Keep reaching and lengthening. Left hand down, right arm is overhead. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Lengthen the chest forward, wrap the ribs around the spine. Bring your left arm by your ear, bring your right arm by your ear, press away from the floor with the legs, or the feet rather, and find a rotation. Another breath. Left arm down, right arm overhead, then back into your left knee, warrior two. Flip your left palm, reverse your warrior. Exhale, cartel your hands to the top of the mat, roll over onto the outside of your right foot, left foot on top of right, Vashastasana side plank, press down and lift up. Right shoulder directly over your right wrist. Breathing here for another breath. Come back to your plank, perhaps a three-legged plank. Exhale, lower down through Chaturanga Dandasana, three-legged. Inhale for an up dog, Adva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, hips are high, downward facing dogs, Adva Mukha Svanasana. Opportunity for the staff, second vinyasa, inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower down through Chaturanga. Inhale, forward and up, up dog. Chaturanga, exhale, bend your elbows, low plank. Inhale to your high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here. Try to relax your head a little bit more. Sometimes we feel, still, feel, still feel tension in our necks during this pose. On your next inhalation, raise your right leg behind you, three limb dog. Bend your knee, open your hip. Step your right foot between your hands. Warrior two, when you lay your left arm up and around. Straighten your front leg, pivot your feet, then back to bend into your left knee. Reverse your warrior, reach up and back. Right leg stays long. Exhale, extended side angle, Pasma Konasana. Your form is on your left thigh, bring your right arm by your ear. Lengthen the ribs towards your left knee. Create some more space. Roll the right ribs around. Strong line of energy. Your own variation, whatever you did on the first side, do it here, either staying here enjoying this nice stretch, or your half bind, a full bind, or your bird of paradise. Just take your time. Make sure you're still breathing. Eventually, everybody return into your extended side angle, Pasva Konasana. Straighten your front leg, parallel your feet. Arms outstretched, hinge all the way down for wide-legged forward fold. Take a breath in, come onto your fingertips, lengthen, draw your way forward. Bow down, forward fold. Grab big toes with two fingers and a thumb. Lengthen as you breathe in, elbows out to the sides, and bow your way down and let your head and neck relax. Opportunity for an inversion, either wide-legged handstand kick-ups, or come onto the top of your head, elbows bent, Find your way into your shirsasana headstand tripod. In your wide-legged forward fold, hug the belly in, send the backs of the hips higher. Feel your weight settle a little bit more towards the balls of your feet. And head hangs heavily. And then we release your hands from your big toes. Bring your hands back underneath your shoulders. Lengthen on the breath in. And as you exhale, spin around to face the top of your mat into a runner's lunge. Lower your left knee to the floor. Grab your left foot with your right hand and press down and lift up. Finding your quad stretch, your quad twist. Actually, you forgot something. Everybody come back into your wide-legged forward fold. My bad. Slide your left hand in front of you. Thread your right arm underneath and grab your left leg and look underneath your left shoulder. Continue to crawl your left hand forward. Bend into your right elbow. You can stay here, bring your left arm overhead, finding your twist, but your hips stay nice and level. Lengthen when you breathe in. Find a little bit more rotation when you breathe out. One more breath in. Exhale slowly and wind yourselves. Come onto your fingertips to lengthen. 
Now bend into your left knee, spin around to face the top of your mat. Lower your right knee to the floor. Bend into your back knee and reach for your foot with your hand. Slide your hips down and forward, press into your left foot and rotate the ribs around in towards your left thigh, look over your left shoulder. But keep pushing your foot away. Breathing here for another breath. Sink hips even lower. Open up even more. Release your foot. Straighten your front leg, half split pose, Ardha Hanumanasana. Scoot your left heel forward, lengthen the chest over your thigh. Right hand outside of your left leg. Left hand can come to your left hip or draw the left arm overhead for a modified revolved triangle. Continue to pull your left hip back. Every time you breathe in, lengthen the right waist towards your toes. Find more of a twist when you breathe out. One more breath in. Exhale slowly and wind yourselves. Then into your left knee, crawl your way forward, tuck your back toes, lengthen your right leg. Roll over to the outside of your right foot, wild thing, rock star. Step your left foot behind you and open up. Press down, lift up even more. As you exhale, come back to center, left hand down, left leg swings underneath towards the right, right arm reaches overhead. Press down and lift up. Another breath. Come into your three-legged plank. Exhale, lower down through three-legged chaturanga. Inhale, forward and up dog. Exhale, hips are high, downward facing dog. Take a breath in, lift your heels high. Open mouth, breath out, let it go. Heels to the floor. Two more rounds, inhale, lift the heels high, hips high. Open mouth, breath out, let it go. One more time, inhale, heels high, hips high. Open mouth, breath out, let it go. On your next breath in, lift your heels, exhale, bend your knees, push back. Step or float lightly to the top of your mat. Take a breath in to lengthen. Take a breath out, bow it down, forward fold. Bring your feet together, bend your knees, with the toss in a chair pose. Send the hips back towards your heels. Tailbone down, belly's engaged. Bring the hands to the center of your chest. Take a breath in to lengthen. Exhale, twist to your left. Right elbow connects to left knee. Staying here, brought, you can broaden your collarbones. Right hand down, left arm overhead. Staying here, lengthen the torso towards me, spinning more. Or perhaps lifting your heels up and coming even lower. Bring your hands to the floor. Bend your elbows at chaturanga arms. Come behind the balls of your feet, shift your way forward, right outer leg on your right elbow, on your right forearm, and come into your twisted crow pose. Eventually, everybody return your feet to the floor if they're lifted. Come back to center, straighten your legs forward, fold. Inhale, lengthen chest forward. Breath out, bow it down, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, bring your arms by your ears, reach high. Exhale, hinge right back down, forward fold. Take a breath in to lengthen. As you exhale, step your right foot to the back of the mat, warrior one, bring your arms by your ears, reach high. Draw your left arm behind you, place it on your right thigh, exalted warrior, sink hips low, but lift the ribs up and back. Come back to center, straighten your left leg, left hip pulls back, right arm reaches forward, square off the hips, keep reaching and lengthening, right hand comes down, revolve triangle, Pavadita Trikonasana. Press into your left big toe mound, pull your left hip back, Draw your left arm overhead. Find a little bit more of that twist, a little bit more of that spin. Another breath. Come back to center, bring your weight onto your left foot, raise your right leg up. Exhale, Shiva squat. Lower your right shin to the floor, but now press down and lift the leg back up. Exhale, Shiva squat. Inhale, down and up. Exhale, settle all the way down into half Lord of the Fishes. Left hand behind you, right, right arm behind you rather. Left arm reaches overhead. Actually, left hand behind you. Right arm reaches overhead. Lift and lengthen as you breathe in and find your twist. Press down and lift up. And find your twist. One more round of breath. Stay in your twist. Get a little bit longer. As you exhale, a little bit more twist. Slowly unwind yourselves. Just slide your left foot forward and step to the top of your mat. Forward fold. Breath into lengthen chest forward. Breath out. Forward fold. Bend your knees, Utkatasana chair, sit it down low, bring the hands to the front center of your chest. Breath into length and twist to the right, left elbow to right knee. Find your personal variation. If your hands are still at prayer, pull the chest towards the heels of the hands and find your twist. Perhaps you draw your left arm down, right arm overhead. Use the elbow to your knee to find more length and more twist. 
Perhaps you have your twisted crane pose. Bring your hands to the floor, elbows bend. Shift your weight forward and find lift off. Staying here for another breath. Eventually lower your feet to the floor. Everybody straighten your legs for a forward fold. Inhale, lengthen chest forward. Breath out, bow down, forward fold. Inhale all the way up, bring your arms by your ears, reach high. Exhale, hinge right back down, forward fold. Breath in to lengthen. As you exhale, step your left foot to the back of the mat, warrior one. Press into your right foot, hug your right hip back, twist to your right, right hand lands on the back of your left thigh, press the thigh into the hand, glide your right knee forward. Continue to pull your left hip forward as you lean up and back. Come back to center, straighten your front leg, left hand to left hip, or right hand to right hip rather, left arm reaches overhead, squeeze the inner thighs as you reach and lengthen. Keep reaching, press into your right big toe mound, hug your right hip back. Pivotita Trigonasana, left hand down, right arm reaches up and around. Continue to press into the right foot to pull your right hip back. Guide your right hip back to midline, lengthen your left leg. More length and distance from your left ribs to your right heel. Another breath. Slowly unwind yourself, standing split, draw your left leg up. As you exhale, gently tap your shin behind your right foot. Inhale, right back up. Exhale, tap. Inhale, right back up. Exhale, settle into your half lord of the fishes. Right hand down behind you, left arm reaches overhead. Left elbow hooks to outer edge of your right knee. Press down and lift up. Spin, lead with the center of your chest. Close your right hand is to your lower back. Can assist you in the lift. Find a little bit more twist. One more round of breath in. And a breath out, find a twist. Back to center. You draw your right leg around you, come into a pigeon pose. Make sure the hips are lined up, facing the front of the room, and gradually bring your hands down towards the floor. Try to keep your arms nice and long. That gives you a little bit more opportunity to lengthen into the sideways. Let your head and neck hang. Continue to pull your left hip back. So let gravity help you out here. Settle a little bit more deeply. It's a releasing of tension pose. Release any tension in your jawline. Settle in a little bit more deeply. Slowly walk your way back up. What you need to do is settle on your left hip, slide your right leg in front of you, draw your left leg long back behind you, square off your hips, and draw your way into your kapatasana reclined sleeping pigeon and soften into the shape. And let gravity be your friend here. Don't resist this pose. Keep lengthening the ribs forward and melting it down. A few more breaths here. Slowly walk your hands back up underneath your shoulders. Roll over under your right hip, slide your left leg along in front of you. Draw your right leg in front of you, shake it all out. Gradually lower all the way onto your backs. And bring your knees into your chest, give yourselves a gentle squeeze. Roll around a little bit on your back from side to side. Settle your feet to the floor. Draw your knees over towards your left, turn your head to the right. You now slide your right knee on top of your left. Drawing your right hip forward a bit more, settling your right shoulder to the floor. Another two breaths here. Slowly come out of your twist. Bring your knees to center, drop them over towards your right. Perhaps your left knee slides on top of your right. Folding your left shoulder down to the floor. And take a few settling breaths here. Slowly find your way out of the shape. Settle your legs onto the floor, let your feet knees roll open. Arms are by your sides. 
Take a long, slow, smooth breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, exhale, let it go. Remember, not only are you strong enough to endure the most difficult of times, you're strong enough to endure some of the even most mundane of tasks. You're surrounded with love and support. Right now, you can let everything go. To stay in your shavasana as long as you would like in your own space. Now begin to move your fingers and toes. Wiggle them around slowly, mindfully. Just feel the sensation. Roll your ankles and roll your wrists. Draw your arms long by your sides overhead. Reach to the back of the room, reach to the front of the room, and nice long breath in. Open your mouth, exhale, let it go. Bring your knees into your chest, roll over onto your right side, please. Let your head rest on the support of your arm, sealing your practice. Restore your balance. Eventually, with your eyes gently closed, gradually bring your way into a comfortable seated position. Bring the hands together to press at the center of your heart, and Jilly Mudra. Sit down, lift up a bit taller. Tether, we'll take one more deep breath in, fill up, open our mouths, exhale, let it go. Acknowledging and honoring the light in you that is the light in me. I thank you so much for sharing it with me. Namaste. I'm Terry. Have a great day.